Hi everyone, just wanted to show you this new item I picked up recently. It is a Chubb Manifoil Mark IV uh, Ministry of Defence safe. Uh, I've seen loads of these in old army bases and old air force bases over the years. Absolutely loads of them and I've sort of always wanted one. And uh, I was in picking up a filing cabinet uh, about a month or so ago uh, just to store all my uh, Cold War paperwork in. And I saw two of these safes uh, sitting and uh, they were only £25. So I bought both of them and uh, a local locksmith was able to get the code for me because we didn't know the code. Thankfully, they were locked open. They weren't locked shut. So he was able to get the code and then he was able to recode it for me. And now I'm able to use it, which is absolutely fantastic. So I gave the other safe to a friend of mine, Ed, and uh, he's now using his over in England and I'm using mine here in the shed. Um... As I said before, they were made for the Ministry of Defence and uh, there's actually a bit of lead in behind this so you can't x-ray it sort of to see what's inside it, which is pretty cool. Uh, or to, you know, break, hack the code. And, you know, I do I have seen people picking these, but they pick them with the safe open. Apparently they're quite difficult to pick with the safe shut the way it is. Uh, you know, do it quickly. I'd say it would uh, be pretty much impossible to do it really, really quickly without the code. Now, the code on this one is set to 10, 20, 30. Uh, I just wanted something simple because I'm not going to keep anything important in it. It's, it's really only here for show. Uh, so there's a couple of sets of keys in it for the bunker, spare keys for the bunker and things like that. Um, you know, nothing of, you know, top secret importance. And to open it uh, for the first number 10, you turn it clockwise five times. Then for the second number 20, you turn it anti-clockwise four times. Then for the third number, 30, you turn it clockwise again three times. And then the last number is zero. And now that's set. That's set in the factory. You cannot change the last number. The last number is always zero. And to get that, you turn it anti-clockwise twice for, to, to get to get the last zero. And then you turn it clockwise slowly until the lock mechanism engages. It retracts the bolt and then you can open it. So we'll... Reset this here a couple of times just to make sure that it's the mechanism is completely reset. So we're going to go to the first number, which is 10. So we're going to rotate this clockwise five times until we get to 10. So there is one, two, three, four, and this is the last one, five. Then we're going to go anti clockwise four times for 20. So there's one, two, three and four then we're going to go clockwise three times for 30 one two and three and then we're going to go anti-clockwise twice for zero so there's one zero and there's the last zero so that's the code inputted and then we're going to go clockwise slowly and there we go, there's the safe now open and it will now no longer turn anymore clockwise. And there's the safe open. So there's the mechanism. It's got, you can see the military crow's fit there and it's dated 1993. And there's a set of spare keys for the bunker. And then we have this top secret document here for a transition to war orders. Dated 1985 for members of 31 Group Royal Observer Corps, Northern Ireland. So that goes back in there. So yeah, these safes can go for anything from £250 up to £400. And with a working mechanism like this and the fact that the code is inputable. And you can change, this is how you change the key here. You input the code, make sure it's open and then uh, you lock the safe closed. And then you can change the code here with that uh, code key and that lets you you change the code up here on this slightly off centered straight line here but yeah very very expensive little safe apparently so it's uh, it's nice to know that i have one here if i ever need a quick 300 or so quid i can just bang this on ebay and there we go but i think picking that up for 25 pounds and then 35 pounds to uh, get the code changed is absolutely fantastic and uh, 
Ed's got his as well. So saved an absolute fortune on those two safes. So I've asked the guy if he gets any more to let me know because um, I wouldn't mind a few more of these and get them, get the codes done on those and then uh, hopefully sell them on. Um, might, I'd, I'd like another one, to be perfectly honest with you. I would, wouldn't mind another one. It'd be nice to have uh, one maybe at the office and work to put bits and pieces in. But it's quite nice to add it to my little shed collection here of interesting items. Uh, this little Chubb Manifoil Ministry of Defence safe. Yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Thought you might be interested. But listen, folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.